Today we're showcasing this beautiful, as new, Ferrari California 30. And we got to thinking, is this all the GT car you'll ever really need? Let's find out. Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 22nd of September at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. So this is a 2013 Ferrari California 30. It's called a 30 because it's 30 kilograms lighter than the outgoing model it replaces and it's also 30 brake horsepower more than the outgoing model. So this is the second in the series of the original Californias. And this is resplendent in this beautiful Rosso Corsa paintwork which is absolutely pristine and we'll get on to why in a minute with this Nero interior this beautiful black Nero interior now this car has only done 5400 miles it is as new it is like a brand new car and we've got to thank Hampson Auctions for providing us this car for review this car will be up for auction in the up-and-coming Hampson Auctions on the September the 22nd with the preview date on the 21st of September the California 30 is a car of first it's the first convertible Ferrari to have a tin top, hard top folding roof, which you can see here folded away in the luggage space. So it takes up some space if you have the folded roof and it removes some, removes some space away from luggage storage, but not too bad at all. But it's the first car from metal folding, first convertible from metal folding roof. It's the first car to have a seven speed dual clutch transmission and it's the same Gertrude dual clutch transmission that's used in the 458 albeit with different software configuration. Also it's the first car to have and we'll show you that in a minute it's the first car to have a front mounted V8 engine and in this particular configuration it's longitudinally mounted so and it's a naturally aspirated engine so we'll just show you the engine now as well. And there's that stunning V8, incredibly well represented here with these beautiful plenum chambers in this stunning crinkle paint paintwork. Incredible. The engine sits a lot lower than that. This is the actual height of the plenum chambers. The main block and weight of the block is a lot lower, which of course helps with its center of gravity for road holding. As you can see, the main block of the engine is set back. You've got the front wheel axle here. So the main weight of the block is behind the front wheel axle. So this is almost getting into front mid-mounted engine. And this, as I said, is the first Ferrari to have a front mounted V8 engine. It will propel you from 0 to 62 in 3.8 seconds and has a max speed of 194 miles per hour. And this is a Ferrari California GT car. Those are incredible statistics, incredible performance figures. This has this immaculate pristine black Nero interior with Daytona seats. So you've got these Daytona configuration strikes in the seat which is also carried into the back seat. So this is a heavily optioned car. In addition, it has the Ferrari carbon racing zone, which provides you with the carbon steering wheel with the LED rev lights. And it also has the carbon fiber center console. This is a stunning configuration for this car. It's just pretty much perfect. Rosso Corsa over a black near interior with Daytona seats front and rear and carbon configured internally. These cars are really coming to, into their own now and they're going to start going up in value because it's going to be start to be realized that these naturally aspirated GT Ferrari California cars are the cars to have because they're very well priced at the moment in the marketplace and the prices are just going to elevate because the car after this which is a California T of course is turbocharged and people prefer naturally aspirated cars they just do because of the sound etc and we'll get onto the sound of this car as well when we take it out on the road which is exactly what we're going to do now. Yeah. 
So is the California, the Ferrari California, the only GT car you'll ever need? Well, we're going to find out now. First of all, it was before all the functionality went on the steering wheel. So you've got proper indicators here, a proper indicator stalk. So it's really sweet to be able to just pull down on an indicator stalk and turn the indicators on without having to press all these buttons on the steering wheel. That makes quite a lot of difference when you're looking for just an easy going, relaxed drive. We'll just take it out of auto. And this has the same Gertrug seven speed dual clutch transmission gearbox as the 458. It was trialed in the earlier California, first of all, before it was implemented in the Ferrari 458 around 2010. So it was proven in the California, first of all. And this car is no slouch. It's a 4.3 litre, naturally aspirated V8, pushing out 483 brake horsepower, 372 pound foot of torque, 0 to 62 in 3.8 seconds. That's no slouch with 194 mile per hour top speed as you can see it's quite orally pleasing too it's a Ferrari V8 it has some nice nice burbles on the after run so when you drop down and you defrottle, it has some really nice burbles, which are really characterful as well, which is exactly what you'd like. You don't want anything really boisterous when you're driving these cars on a, on a GT Tour, whether it be in Europe um, or whether it be on the French Riviera. This is the perfect car for those sorts of trips. And you do not want a boisterous car for that, really. You want something that's easy to drive, easy going. The steering on this car, it's still agile, it's still quite fast, but it's nowhere near as fast as the Ferrari supercars. So you have that nice bit of tolerance where it's not gonna suddenly grab you into the side of the road where you have to keep your wits on all the time. It's a relaxing drive, but it is still very agile. It's very well cushioned on the suspension. You've got the Manotino here with, you've got a Comfort Sport and an ESC off setting. The ESC off switches everything off in effect, and the Sport is a sportier drive but it's not gonna be like the race mode in a supercar. But you drop it down a few cogs. And it's no slouch. It's no slouch at all. It punches it. And the more you drive it, the harder you drive it, the faster the gear changes kick in. But they're still not as aggressive as a supercar and again you wouldn't want that because this is a Grand Tourer. So the configuration of that 7-speed DCT is calmer. It's not going to slam you back in the seat. It's not going to jar you when you're changing gear. It's a nice relaxed change. As you push on it becomes a bit more aggressive but it's not so aggressive that it's going to jar you and going to take you away from your relaxation, from your relaxing drive. This car is all about crunching miles in a very relaxed manner. But when you want to punch it to overtake a few cars, drop it down a few cogs, and you've got that performance to do so. And you get that lovely oral bass tone when you do that, which is just what you want from this type of Grand Tourer. Very relaxing drive. I would say this is probably the easiest to drive Ferrari that I've ever driven by quite a substantial amount. My 458 was easy to drive, but it was a lot faster handling, it was a lot faster steering and a lot twitchier than this California. And that's not to say my 458 was twitchy by any means, it wasn't. But it wasn't as relaxing as this drive. If I was taking this on our European tour that we did last year, this would be a lot more docile. It wouldn't be as performant around the twisties on the, on the switchbacks and the passes that we did, but it'd be a lot more relaxing drive. And of course, you've got that great amount of storage space in this car as well. You've got the storage space in the rear of the car, which if you've got the roof up, is a substantial amount of literage. If you've got the roof down, you've still got a fair amount in there. You can still get a couple of um, flight cases in there in the back. And you've got quite a bit of space behind the seats as well, which can be shown by our camera bags that we have in the back. You can squeeze some soft bags behind the seats, no problem whatsoever. So if you want to take two of you away on a nice tour for around eight to 10 days or even longer, you'd certainly be able to fit the luggage in this car to be able to do that. And you'd have a great performance Ferrari GT car to take you on that trip. 
absolutely awesome. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up. It's very important for our channel. And if you like our style of content, please think about subscribing. The steering wheel, as you will have noted from the footage that we've provided when I started the car, the steering comes down to meet you. So from your pre-configured settings, the steering wheel sets itself to those settings, which is very, very cool. It's great because again, it's a lot easier to drive the car and the, and the seating as well is electric. So the seats are electric, you have the electric comfort seats and they will pre-configure themselves to settings as well. And they're very easy to set up for a very good driving position. You've got the infotainment system on the center console upper part, which provides you all the information you'll ever need. You've got the center console section down here, which provides you with your automatic and manual switch, your reversing and You've got a launch control. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've got a launch control in the Ferrari California 30. I'm not gonna use it because this car only has 5,400 miles. It is pretty much as new. So no craziness, but just a bit of spirited driving just so you get an appreciation of how performant this car is. Even though it's a California, it can still really punch it. back in the exhaust as well when you push it when you're driving fairly aggressively and the little burbles little pop backs as well which is very characterful i can see myself driving this on a european tour with those lovely burbles in the background and you can just take it easy change up a few gears and it's got a lovely amount of torque that 372 pound foot of torque pulls it along nicely in a low gear nicely relaxed just drop back, enjoy the scenery, and enjoy your drive. Is the Ferrari California all the GT car you'll ever need? I think you know the answer. I truly believe it is. If you're looking for a comfortable, relaxing GT car with a bit of punch, the Ferrari California is the car for you. They're very reasonably priced at the moment. So in answer to my question, yes. I firmly believe this is all the GT car you'll ever need.